Oh, something to add though too. I did go through an RU five or one phase during when I was around nineteen, I believe. Okay, and tell us about that. Yeah, what did you have any symptoms or? You know? Um, it was interesting because this is the point where I was like definitely going through like uh, meant a lot, a lot mentally when it comes to like care loss, and so I was just trying to do anything I could kind of at this point. And obviously, I didn't use it very responsibly. I would use it pretty often and i would use it if i had microneedle i there, there was a point where i was microneedling like daily like that very with like, the ru like you would apply the ru after microneedling yeah I would oh man that. wow oh my god it was bad oh. so i would <laughs> and side effects wise i mean i didn't really notice then but now if i look back at it i definitely i think i had a, a bit like i'd wake up i would never wake up with any sort of like like, for example, morning wood is like a healthy, you know, it's, it's supposed to be, you know, good that you have androgen cir circulating. But I would never wake up with any sort of like libido or like morning wood type thing. My, I feel like my gyno started to get a little bit more puffier, um, but also had this weird, I don't know if I look back at it now, it could have been anxiety, I don't know, but I had like chest pain kind of in certain days at the day after I'd use RU, especially if I would microneedle. So it's, it was an interesting experience, that's for sure. Not healthy, though. So, yeah, I mean, with RU, you, you just never know where you're going to get. This is, uh, you know, something that's just been on the market. You don't know who's making it. You don't know how they're making it. You don't know what they cut with it. So it's uh, it's definitely a risk yeah. if anyone goes that route. Yeah. So I definitely agree with that, and I don't really recommend it anymore. I think there are way better options, and. I think it's just for me, it was like one of the cheaper alternatives. And I was just like, all right, I just need, you know, some type of like, you know, anti-androgen on my scalp. And I think I made a video kind of similar on this, like why anti-androgens are like, you know, usually good to kind of pair with if you're like an extreme responder, you know, just to crush like scalp DHT levels, you know, but like what I was using it for, it was just some, you know, very unhealthy, you know, just, just kind of swinging in the dark here, just trying to get my you know, diffuse thinning and hair loss under control. But of course, it was just kind of out of like a panic mode. So definitely not good looking back at it. <laughs> so yeah, I've uh, I've used a lot of crazy stuff too. I, I never used RU, but yeah, I've used out of desperation, I've used almost every treat, treatment under the sun. And I had some experience with a couple of compounds. So I get where you're coming from. Sometimes yeah. we just want to have, I think, Kevin Mann calls it the hair grid, right? When you just yeah. want yeah. more and more. I like that term. Yeah. It's like the more and more, or just like, you just want to, you just want to maintain, like you want to keep every single hair. And if you like shed one hair in the shower, you like freak out kind of phase. Yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely a scary, be a scary thing, especially when you're younger, since, you know, most people of course go through hair loss when they're older and more mature. Well, like when you're younger, you know, you're 19, you're just going to be freaking out all the time about it. And especially if like your hair is like one of the biggest attributes to you, it's, it will just run your world and oof, it's, it's a lot mentally. So. Oh yeah. One thing that I want to talk about now that you mentioned it, like yeah. hair being part of my, the identity, like for basically for everyone, hair is a part of their identity, but when it comes to having like our hair types having like curly Caucasian hair. I think mm. a lot of people see, see that as a symbol of ourselves. Like when people mm. don't know my name, they refer to me as the curly guy, you know? And yeah. uh, people comment on my hair, maybe it's the same about you. A lot of the girls love it. So oh. it, it's so characteristic, like having long curly hair is something that defines your person. Like it's a sign of. It's basically a part of your identity. So mm -hmm. yeah, I resonate with what you said. 